Does Spencer Dutton and Alexander survive elephant lion attacks in Africa? Who survived and who died in the shootout at the Yellowstone in the third episode of 1923? We're gonna get into it right now on the Sundowners Club. I'm your host, Sean. To my right, my co Sterling. What's up, buddy? Not much. How are you? I'm good. So, episode three of the new series, 1923, the prequel to Yellowstone, was titled The War Has Come Home. And before we get into it, man, oh man, oh man, this was, I was expecting a little bit of action, but to summarize what we saw in that episode, that was one of the best hours of television. I've seen in a while. I mean, I would put it up there with some of the things that we we've seen in some other series, like maybe House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones. But uh, without giving anything away yet, because we're going to get into what happened from a summary standpoint. What did you think about Episode Three, "The War Has Come Home" of 1923? I think it's moving forward a lot quicker than I thought it would. I think a lot of the things are happening. Uh, some of the stuff I kind of predicted, but I think it's moving forward way way faster. This is stuff that I thought maybe you'd see at the end of the season, but it, yeah, it's already for three sure. episodes in. So yeah, it's, it's moving along pretty quick. It, it starts to make a little bit more sense. Now we've been talking about this actor that plays Spencer Dutton mm -hmm. and the focus that has been on Spencer, the first three episodes, the first two episodes leading into this episode. And we now understand why, because Spencer is going to play a huge, huge role. He's, in this he's series. the main character. It, he which, certainly seems like the yeah. main character. You know, obviously, I think it's brilliant the way they they've done it so far. They've brought in name actors. I mean, you know, some of the best actors on the planet to play some of the established older characters, uh, a la Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, Jerome Flynn, and then we know Timothy Dalton's coming in, and then uh, Robert Patrick plays the sheriff. You have all these actors that we know and recognize. And then you have some unknown actors that are going to play the main roles. Kind of like what we saw in Game of Thrones in the first few seasons with, mm -hmm. we didn't know who Kit Harington was. Right. And then all of a sudden we realized. It's John Sean Bean. You could have sworn he was going to be the main character. And right. Then, boom, he's gone. So there's a lot of that going on. But let, let's get into it right now. We're going to cover what happened in, in the episode and where we think it's going. So when the episode starts, we see the Jacob Dutton played by Harrison Ford and Jack and John Dutton Sr. and Zane and the whole crew. Um, heading back to the homestead to their wives, and uh, and so they've you know they've gone through uh, surviving the fight with Banner Creighton's crew and and what happened there, and uh, so you know Jack runs off first and uh, and it meets up with his fiance Elizabeth, and uh, and so you know Jack ends up uh, going with her, and then you have Jacob telling Kara that he had a. You know they had a run in with Banner. He's got to go into town and and uh, and and take care of it. But uh, so they decide they're going to get dressed up, get cleaned up, and they're going to go into town and enjoy a night out on the town. And uh, or maybe they they may have gone to spend the day, but they they end up staying late, and so they end up getting ro getting rooms. Um, but so we see the scenes of of Jacob and Kara, and I thought it was a great scene uh, where Harrison Ford is looking in the mirror. And it made me, I guess it took me out of the show a little bit because it's Harrison Ford looking in the mirror saying he doesn't recognize the man, you know, the old man. And yeah. uh, that made me think, you know, how many things Harrison Ford's been in, the guy that I grew up with that was, uh, was right. much younger. And, and uh, Anna Jones, Han Solo. But, it, just but it shows cowboy. how great of a character that Harrison Ford would play this character that is that is looking at himself and seeing himself for who he really is, right? Yeah. He, you know, his his age and that the life he's led. I thought that was a, a great scene for him. And then, uh, and then Kara, uh, her interaction with him, you know, talking about she wonders if greed will kill all of them. That will be the ultimate undoing of of them um, on the Yellowstone. Is uh, is it greed? And so that that's a little bit of foreshadowing. But uh, you know, we also see that uh, when they're in town, Jack and Elizabeth go to a speakeasy, and I didn't really understand the point of that too much. I mean, I know it's character building a little bit. But I wanted to see a little bit more at this point of John Dutton Sr. and Emma, his wife, um, than maybe we did. Um, because I think we, we've seen a little bit of Elizabeth and Jack the first few episodes. But mm -hmm. they're, they're at the speakeasy. And I guess, was your, was your thought on it that maybe that there was trying to show that times were changing, that the, the modern life Well, yeah, you had that because it had that 1920s uh, 
party scene going on. Yeah. It almost felt like a different show. It's the kind of stuff you see in like the old mobster movies. Right. And then you just had these cowboys, you know, that show up that look like they're completely out of their element, you know, partying. Yeah, because everybody's from out of town. Yeah, they're like, uh, I think you said most of them were from like New York or something like that. Yeah. So they're completely out of their element. But I think as we come to find out, I, I think he's going to be one of the main characters. And, uh, Jack. Amaz- yeah, Jack. And amazingly enough, his, his father, you know, I, I was surprised to see uh, kind of what, what they did with that. I mean, yeah. It seemed yeah, like it, a, almost a complete, completely pointless to even have him yeah, in there. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that, but as we get towards the end, but so they, they, they're, they spend a night hanging out at the speakeasy and dancing and having fun. And, and Jack shows that he's, he's willing to engage in it. And uh, he lightens up the mood a little bit. And then they, they go back to their rooms and Jack ends up going into Elizabeth's room and they spend the night together, which I'm wondering if that's going to be where the baby comes from that we know is going to, play a part in uh, the future of Yellowstone. Um, but so we see that moment between those two. And then we are back in Africa, and we see Spencer uh, arriving at, at another campsite. He's run off with Alexandra, who we find out he's going to just call her Alex because he doesn't want to yell Alexandra the full name every time he yells at her. That's what he tells her. So they arrive at, a, at, at the site where there has been, there's a train. They're laying down uh, a railroad, and hyenas have been uh, attacking. A hyena has been attacking uh, some of the workers, and which was unusual. And so when they arrive and they get set up, Alex tells Spencer, you know, that she's falling for him. She wants to marry him, and his response right back to her, he doesn't even doesn't even hesitate. He says he loves her, and he declares he wants to marry her too. And actually, he tells her. You know, she said, that doesn't sound like a question. It sounds like a statement. And he tells her, it's a demand, which is, again, Taylor Sheridan. Th- this guy's a great, this this actor that got this role, this is like the role of a lifetime. I mean, the guy's got great lines. He doesn't say a lot, but the chemistry, I think, between those two has been pretty strong the first, the, the two episodes we've seen him in. And Spencer, this guy, I don't know where he came from, but, you know, the guy's carried every scene he's been in the first three episodes, at least in my opinion, he's had, what, what have you thought about the actor playing Spencer and, you know, what he's done the first three episodes? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think he'll be like a Kit Harrington situation where he kind of blows up. It'll be, it'll be uh, interesting to see if it translates to other shows and movies, but for a while, at least he's going to be pretty popular. I mean, is this guy going to be the new Batman? Is he going to be in the next Ben <laughs> <series? laughs> Are we going to see know. this guy show up in something else? I saw else? him. I was thinking maybe he could be Wolverine, but he's kind of tall. A little, little tough for yeah. Wolverine. Yeah. So so they basically say they're gonna get married and so now they're engaged. Um and they're they're he's heading out to show her these uh footprints of a young boy uh that have been around thousands of years. Mm-hmm. And uh and so there he's he's showing her the 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 vistas and the scenery and uh and so as they're heading back, they see they stop for a herd of elephants and then this elephant which showing you the the real danger of where they are. You know, you get a sense. The what I like about what Taylor Sheridan's done is every scene in Africa, as beautiful as it looks, from one moment to the next, danger strikes, and and it's not a safe place. And so all of a sudden, we see an elephant just charge them, and Spencer knows that they're in trouble, and so they're in a little buggy cart, and uh, and so the the elephant charges them, flips it, and he ends up having to shoot the elephant and kill the elephant. And but now he knows the car. They turn the car over and and they can't get out of there. So now they're stuck, and he knows that they're in deep trouble. She doesn't really get a sense yet of the true danger they're in. But as they climb a tree and they realize they have to stay in the tree for the night, and he tells her, you know, we need a we need a taller tree, and she realizes there is none oh. around. And so you get the sense as the as the sun is setting that they're in big trouble. And my first thought was. Man, the last blonde that Spencer saw, <laughs> it didn't end up so well for her. So my first thought was they just got engaged, and this girl's not making it out of episode three. I was wondering why they stayed so close to the elephant corpse. That was the only thing I, I think didn't... it was because the tree was the tallest tree. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, that was my assumption. I could right. be wrong on that, but somebody leave a comment if you want to correct us on the, the the reasoning behind that. But that was my thought was that it was the tallest tree, and I think he realized they were running out of time. They needed to get. 
to yeah, get they high. couldn't they couldn't get back in time. Right. So. so you know, as they as they get nestled in, they uh, it starts to get dark, and all of a sudden the lions, the pride shows up, and they're they're feasting on the the carcass of the elephant, mm-hmm. and then she does the thing that you know you would totally uh, expect someone to do in that moment. She uh, she makes a sound. She cries out, which is really really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so now the lions are surrounding the tree, and then they have a bigger problem because now there's hyenas start to show up. Yeah. So I'd rather deal with the hyenas than the lions. But I don't know. There's the hyenas. There were a lot more. Yeah, of them. There were. Yeah. And uh, and you I don't know, think so they could climb a tree though. A lion can. Can I, well, that's something other comments yeah. our, our <laughs> viewers, you know, do, can a hyena? I, I would assume they can they because he so. acted just as threatened by them, and uh, and so obviously he's he's shooting, and it it looks bad because you know he's going to run out of bullets, oh. and they're being surrounded, and luckily at the last minute, as Spencer's firing away, and she's screaming, um, he's refilling his rifle. He kills probably a half dozen of the of the lions. I think he shoots some of the hyenas too, right? Yeah, I mean, you can't really tell. It shows him shooting his gun, but you don't see. You see the I saw the one line dead. Yeah, the one line is dead in the grass, but they don't really show everything he killed. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, the search party comes to the rescue just in time. Just just in time, and so as they're as they're back in the vehicles and they're trying to get them back to safety, the uh, Alexander Alex tells uh, Spencer that she wanted to feel this danger to feel alive. She wanted to go on this venture oh. with him. And then she says that, you know, now that she's been through it and how it made her feel, she never wants to feel that way again. Yeah. And so they, they've got to leave. And so uh, we, we cut back from Africa, and then as they are wrapping up their time in, in town, um, in, in Bozeman, they're, they start to head back to the homestead. And Jacob tells Zane and the rest of the crew, hey, you guys go on up ahead. You know, if anything's going to happen, you guys will see it. And, uh, and so Jacob and Kara and uh, John Dutton Sr. and his wife, Emma, and then Jack and Elizabeth, and I think her father, Bob, are, are heading, uh, heading back separately in their, in their wagons. And so as they're doing so, we see um, that there's an ambush waiting for them. So as they, as they make it through, try to make it through the ambush, we see, I think Bob, uh, Elizabeth's father, gets hit first, gets knocked off his horse, and then Elizabeth gets shot. She's in the white dress. Mm-hmm. She gets shot, and then Jack is trying to save her. Jack gets shot, but I think he's in the shoulder. I don't, I, it seemed like because he was running around. He was the least injured. Yeah, the yeah. least injured. And so he's he's running around trying to save her. And but what we find out is that they're in a hornet's nest. They're 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 trapped. So they they've got them covered from yeah, all on sides. Both sides, yeah. And so uh, Jacob and John Dutton Senior they they know this, and so they're trying to get cover at least for the moment, to try to maybe shoot their way out of it. Um, but it looks futile. So we we see that they're holding their own. Jacob, you know, played by Harrison Ford and John Dutton Sr., they take out five or six or seven guys on horses, and they're firing, they're holding their own, and then they their flank, uh, you see a car ride up, and it's Banner Creighton, played by Jerome Flynn, yeah. and he's got a... Tommy gun. <laughs> a Tommy gun. Yeah. And so... And he sprays oh. Harrison Ford and John Dutton Sr. And it sure looks like in that moment that Harrison Ford's dead or Jacob Dutton's dead and that John Dutton Sr.'s dead because they just get sprayed with bullets. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so Kara, uh, uh, played by Helen Mirren, she's separated from her husband. And so she she ends up trying to make her way back to him. And But they're also trying to save Jack and Elizabeth, who are stuck behind a rock. And they're they're just sitting ducks, and so right around that time, Zane and the crew they hear the gunshots, and so they start to race back because they know it's trouble, and so Banner Creighton, you know, basically gets out. Actually, when he sprays the Tommy gun, um, you know, he he tells Jacob, you know, I told you what I would do, you know, like basically he he he's a man. He said I'm a man of my word, mm-hmm. and uh, and so he he thinks he's got Jacob killed, and uh, and he takes off. And so as Zane and the crew ride up, they come upon the scene and they save Jack and Elizabeth for the time being. And they come up on Harrison Ford, who's littered with bullets. 
bleeding out of the mouth, and he's not dead, but he looks close to it. Yeah. And then we see John Dutton Sr., who was the little boy in 1883. Dead. Dead. Yeah. Dead is shot in the eye, and he's 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 dead. And so, you know, for a lot of people that have, have looked online and seen family trees and the trying to figure out who's who when you watch Yellowstone in 1883 and then 1923. The thought was from some people in the family tree was that John Dutton Sr. maybe was Kevin Costner's grandfather. Mm -hmm. We now know that's not true because Mm -hmm. he has one son and it's Jack. Yep. And so it would lead us to believe now that Jack is the grandfather of Kevin Costner because he's going to have, we see in the Yellowstone series that. Could it be Spencer though? It's possible, right. unlikely, but possible, just because Jack would be more likely to name. Because remember, um, John Dutton, played by Kevin Costner, his father was John Dutton the third, right? Mm-hmm. He's the fourth, I okay. believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe that's the case. So it would, it would seem logical that Jack would name John Dutton after his father. Right. I get what you're and, saying. Uh, John, Dutton, John Dutton. Such a third. pointless character, though. I wish they would have spent a little bit more time showing us John Dutton Sr. because we saw him as a boy in 1883, and so he he, he had the most lines in that episode, but still, still wasn't much. It, yeah, 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 and and so we see uh, we see him die. They they get Harrison Ford back to the house, and we see Kara saying well, that we want that we want to get the sheriff. And Jacob says, played by Harrison Ford, says, "No, don't do that. Don't call the sheriff because." If if it'll the word will get out and the liars and the thieves will will show up, you know we're we're weakened right now. He knows that if if it gets word gets out, then then they can lose everything. Mm-hmm. So he tells is as the doctor shows up and they're trying to save Harrison Ford's character Jacob. He grabs Kara and he says, "Get Spencer home. Spencer needs to come home now." And so as the episode ends, we know that when it talks about the war has come home. That's a metaphor. The wars come to Yellowstone yeah. in the form of a range war. And we also know that for Spencer, Spencer represents war. World War One, you know, the trauma that he felt and where what he's been doing in Africa. So in a sense, too, it's a play on words because the war has is has come home and it is coming home. And so we now know that Spencer's going to be returning. Uh, will he return in time for because she writes a letter, Kara does, and says, you know, that your brother is dead. By the time you read this and get home, your your uncle may very well be dead, and your your um, your nephew is wounded, and so and his his fiance is wounded. So she sends that letter to Spencer saying, "Get home now." Um, do you think Harrison Ford is dead? Do you think when we look up in Episode Four that he will be gone, or Jacob's got his character? <sighs> yeah. Probably. I mean, it's a show grounded in realism, and when she lifts his shirt up, he's got he's been hit several times with the Tommy gun. That's it's, and it's not, and and the bullet hasn't gone clean through. So when yeah. they see it, they know they have to they have to operate basically on the kitchen table. So, um, it's, so it's a bad wound. If he if he doesn't die immediately, I mean, he might pass away in the next show. But yeah, I don't I don't think he's. Yeah, I I think he might survive an episode or two, just kind of a wounded character that's laying in, in bed. bed. Yeah. yeah, but you know, I certainly don't think he's going to last. There's eight episodes in this season, and we're halfway through, or next week we'll be halfway through. Um, and so I, I certainly don't think that that he will survive past season one. So maybe it's a few episodes. Or you may they may have bring time for him to share a scene with Spencer, say, "Hey, look, you yeah. need to do this." You know. That would be that would kind of make sense. Tell yeah, him what you he want to, to see do. the two strongest characters on the show yeah. have some scenes together, and the fact that he says Bring, get Spencer home. Yeah, I, I, so, they, so they might keep him around just enough for that. But it, you know, I was wondering when they had Harrison Ford. You know, he's not cheap. He's an expensive actor, right? And, and then now you know, you know, he's probably only three or four episodes. So that makes <laughs> right, right. So you know, we'll see what happens. You know, uh, I think we now know Jack and uh, Elizabeth are going to survive. Yeah. At least for the time being, John Dutton Senior is dead, um, and then we know that uh, Jacob Dutton, played by Harrison Ford, is is possibly mortally wounded. Um, I loved it. I thought that my only criticism would have been I would have wanted to see a little bit more of John Dutton Senior, so that there's a little bit more emotional investment in his death. I think that the 
the implications of him dying in terms of his namesake is is important for the larger series, but I would have wanted to see a little bit more than that. That's a minor criticism. This is a great show. Yeah. The first three episodes play like a like a trilogy, like a movie. You know, one well, the very the very uh, beginning of season is from this episode. Where yeah. Helen Marin is Yeah, they down flash back. So so the, I'm glad you brought that up. They flash oh. back and the first uh scene from the first episode is Kara, Helen Marin chasing down a guy that we figured out as mm-hmm. part of Banner Creighton's crew and she she executes him, you know. Yep, and it was uh, right and during so that scene. We now see that scene is played out cuz she she knows that most of her family either is dead or wounded. And so she's she's chasing them down and she kills them. Yep. And so we 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 know that she's she will do whatever it takes to protect her family. And so you get a sense that not only not only are Spencer coming home, but they may have a somebody that they they they're not prepared to deal with in her because it seems like her character may be a little bit more vicious yeah. than than Harrison Ford's character. We gave Banner a chance to survive. I don't see her doing that. So um, you know. Final thoughts. I, I I give it a nine out of ten. I thought it was almost a perfect episode. Um, I'm yeah. excited for the rest of the season. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought it was really good. I think, like I said, it's moving moving along quicker, a lot faster than I thought it would. And which uh, is what you do. It's what you yeah. do with a new series. You got to keep people on the hook. Yeah, and I think I, I, Spencer will probably be back home by the next episode that's kind of the vibe i get because his wife doesn't want to be in africa or his fiance doesn't want to be in africa anymore and then she's now she's going to show up to yeah. yellowstone go, go from <laughs> fighting animals to fighting people that's but, right um, but uh yeah it's good I'm, I'm looking forward to what's what's going to happen does this also make you want to go start to watch yellowstone oh yeah i'd yeah. plan that anyways yeah. i mean i'm almost done with with 1883 so yeah. um yeah I, I was and i actually heard paramount plus is supposed to be getting yellowstone soon right so they have i guess they have a deal with with the network so they have to wait a little bit but once that deal's over it you'll be able to stream. yeah so yeah. that'll Which be a pick up a lot of it. subscribers when that happens too yeah yeah they well they need it for sure <laughs> we'll be here to cover it yeah. you know what you know i'm excited for what happens for the rest of the season if you like what you heard today leave a comment below hit the like button and most importantly hit subscribe so that we can grow our content and tcb